We've just finished some big features for Dexterous, and I'm super excited to show you what we've made. The biggest thing that we've done is we have changed how the component editor looks. We have tried to really optimize the vertical spacing of everything. So you can see the cards and the table here take up most of the space. And the component tabs are over here on the left, and each one has a dedicated component back to go with it. So we've moved things around. You'll find things in the familiar places, and some things have moved a little bit. You should find everything roughly where you expect it to be. Over here, might be worth pointing out, there's a zoom in and zoom out, and the table and the cards will just adapt to be the right size so you can maximize whichever one you want to be bigger. Um, you can highlight the active card there as before. There's a smooth scroll option, or you can get the instant scroll. Um, you can toggle the card back preview on and off. And again, you can get this um, card preview pop up in big mode if you really want it. But I don't think you really need it anymore because you can really control quite easily how big these cards are. Um, so what else to tell you? We have multi-tab editing, which is super exciting and it's been a long time coming. So you can't overwrite your own um, progress in different tabs or on different computers. So if I open this same project in another tab, like I have here, and if I go to the same tab, so the developments cards that I have here, I'll actually get this component editing locked notice. So it looks like somebody else is editing this, or maybe you closed out unexpectedly, you'll get this um, notice in that case. In that case, I can actually unlock editing here if I want. Say you have it open on a computer at work, you can unlock the editing when you get home and at work, you'll actually get that one, that other computer or tab will get locked. So this will make collaborating with other people or yourself much easier. The next thing that we have done a lot of work on is to get the speed of this editor way, way faster. So um, as I'm scrolling along here, these cards are actually getting dynamically brought in and, and kind of vanishing off the side here. And hopefully that should make a huge difference to your project editing speed, particularly if you have a big project. The final thing we've done is we've done a lot of work on making a slicker table and editing experience. So um, there's a few features now that we have, so you can actually just reorder these cards by dragging and dropping them which is really nice. You can still reorder the columns by dragging and dropping them as you could before, but now you can also resize individual columns and you can resize individual rows, which is cool. You can also right click a single column and copy it to your clipboard. This can be super helpful if you want to paste straight into Google Sheets, or if you're going the other way, you can actually copy a column from Google Sheets into the Dexterous table using this paste option here. Um, Would we'll just recommend that you still keep all your editing in either the Dexterous table or Google Sheets. Don't use them together, but this can help the transfer pro um, process. And you can also copy rows in the same way. Say if you want to copy a row and take it to another component. It's probably worth noting that table options are up here in the corner and you can go to markdown mode um, you can still copy the table, the whole table in one hit here. Um, there's some scrolling options for the table. And if you've hidden any columns, you'll find them here. You can show them again. In terms of editing, text styles and variables are now a bit more integrated. So for example, if I wanted to change the look of this animal's word, I could select it and then I could go to my text styles here, this paintbrush, and I could actually select a text style that I've previously defined here and that would just pop in there, and that's actually going to wrap the word that I selected there in my textile, so that's pretty nice. I can also insert variables in a similar way. So if I click this little variable button, it will open up my list of variables here, and I can just click on it, and that will put in um, variables there. So it's just a nice and easy way to integrate those into the text editor. And last but not least, you can actually use Alt plus arrow keys to navigate around the different table cells. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this update and let us know if you have any feedback in the Discord. We'd love to hear it as always.